this episode, we're going to have a look at circle formulae. Now, there are stand formulae that, uh, for the area of a circle and the circumference of a circle. So first of all, the area of a circle is given by the formula area equals pi times the radius squared. Now, you need to know that pi is the circle constant, and it's roughly 3.142 but you should use the pi button on your calculator in your exam unless it says otherwise. Now the circumference of a circle is just its perimeter and to calculate the circumference you do the calculation pi, sorry 2 times pi times by the radius and you can use that to calculate the perimeter or the circumference of the circle. So let's have a think about that in the reference of some questions. So what is the circumference of a circle whose radius is two centimeters? Now remember the circumference is pi, sorry, two times pi times r. And if we substitute in the values we need, it's two times pi times the radius, which is two. And your answer will be four times pi, which you can type in your calculator to find out the answer. Now, the circumference of a circle, remember, can also, I said earlier that it was 2 times pi times r. Now, we can also write it as pi times diameter. Now, the reason for that is, is the diameter is just double the radius. So 2 times pi times r is the same as pi times diameter. Now, you just need to know about something called uh, arcs and sectors. Now, an arc length is a fraction of the circumference of the circle. So if you want to work out the arc length, you, what you do is you take the angle of the sector involved and divide it by 360, and then you times it by the circumference of the circle. So just to rephrase that, the arc length is equal to the angle of the sector divided by 360, times by 2 times pi times r. Now you can also work out the area of a sector in a similar way. So for the area of a sector, you take the angle of that sector, divide it by 360, and times it by pi r squared, so the full area of the circle. Now you also need to know about a segment. Now a segment is basically similar to a sector, but it's basically made, been made into a triangle. Um, where you've got the two radii coming out from the centre of the circle, and then those two radii meet with a straight line uh, to draw to form a triangle. Now, to find the area of what, this segment, uh, you find the full area of the sector, and you subtract the area of the triangle using the formula pi. So area of the triangle is half AB sine C. Therefore, the area of the circle is the area of the segment. Subtract the area of the triangle. So the area of the, area of the sector is the angle of that sector divided by 360 times by 2 pi r. Subtract half AB sine C, which is the area of the circle, and that will leave you that little sort of crescent shaped uh, shape that you will find um, that you will see that's called a segment. So what is the arc length labeled x in this drawing? Well I'm going to describe the drawing. We've got a circle, we've got a, um, a sector that has an angle of 180 degrees and a radius of 10. Now remember the arc length is the angle divided by 360 times by 2 pi r. So if we substitute in the values for, the, for that formula, the arc, arc length is equal to 180 divided by 360 times by 2 times pi times 10. So we know that the arc length is then half times 20 pi and in total that give us 10 pi, which you can find out the actual answer to by typing it into your calculator. So another question for you. 
What is the circumference of a circle whose diameter is 8 centimetres? So remember the equation for the circumference. Circumference equals pi times d, or 2 pi r. And substitute in the values. So if the diameter is 8, it's pi times 8 for the circumference, which you can find out the answer to on your calculator. Another question. What is the length of the arc? if we've got a sector with angle 60 degrees and a radius of two centimeters. Now remember arc length is equal to the angle of the sector divided by 360 times by two pi r. So the angle is 60 divided by 360 times by two pi times by the radius, which is two. And we can work that through to be um, 2 thirds pi, if you do some manipulation of the numbers, which again you can find out the answer to on your calculator. So another example, we've got a sector with the angle 180 degrees and the radius of 10. So area of the sector is 180 divided by 360 times by pi times by 10 squared, because it's pi r squared. Now the area of the sector then is 180 times by pi times by 100. And that's the same as a half times pi times 100, which is 50 pi. Again, put that into your calculator if you want to find out the answer.